everybody. It's Dana Martin, community producer for Anarchapulco, and I'm here today with Benny Wills. Benny has been part of Anarchapulco for the last several years, and Benny is a friend of mine, and he's an amazing, amazing performer. But for those of you that don't know who Benny is, hey, Benny, why don't you introduce yourselves to our audience? Sure. Uh, hey, everybody. My name is Benny, and uh, I have a YouTube channel called Joy Camp, which is primarily comedy. Uh, sketch comedy, parody-based humor that revolves around controversial topics that we try to make lighter and more accessible to people who otherwise wouldn't want to talk about certain topics. Uh, I also do what I call stand-up poetry, since I'm a trained theater actor and I studied that for, gosh, two decades. Um, so what I bring is... Uh, well, you know, someone described it once as George Carlin meets Dr. Seuss, and I thought that was a really apt um, description and also an honor to be connected to those two uh, geniuses. So that's what I do. I, I feel like I have a lot to say, but so many people can speak really well and make PowerPoint presentations that are meaningful and awesome. And I'm a performer, so I like to use my time on stage to perform. And uh yeah, I'm excited for anybody who hasn't seen me perform to see it and anybody who has to enjoy it once again. I remember the first time I heard you uh, speak, I didn't know who you were. And when I saw you on stage, it was so mind blowing to me. It was absolutely well, poetry, like, like, but it was mm. really funny and it was just very um, empowering too. And what you brought up, I think, I think mm -hmm. it was two years ago was the time where I was really, really blown away by what you did that mm. when we were at the Mundo Imperial. Yeah. That yeah. was when I think people really were like, got to know who you were and were like, oh my God, look at this guy. This guy's amazing. And you really got a name for yourself after that. Yeah. Well, thanks for saying that. I did. That was an experiment for me two years ago. I had never performed poetry before. And I want to make sure that you understand that what I do, it's poetry. And there's, a, I think people have sometimes have a natural like aversion to poetry or someone saying that they're a poet. Because I think that Sometimes poetry can be very um, pretentious, and I like to assure people that my poetry is not uh, pretentious. It's more lyrical, and um, it has to do with topics. And uh, yeah, so a couple of years ago, when I performed, I decided to just go up, go ahead and do it without telling anybody. So I just went up there and started doing this sort of wordplay performance and it ended up going over really well. I think I got three standing ovations in my yeah. 40 minute slot, which was very affirming for me since it was, I took a huge risk and to be received so well was uh, amazing. And it's really sort of just set the tone for the last couple of years of my life. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you don't hear many poets dropping the F-bomb like you did. And you would like <laughs> the F-bomb in like the perfect places. So, wow. <laughs> so if you guys want to check out the performance that we're referring to, you can go to anarchopoco.com and, and it's uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. You'll have to check it out. Mm -hmm. But check out last year's too, because that was also standing ovation. Yes, it was. And I don't do this for standing ovations, but it is nice to have that reflection back to me to know that people like it. Yeah. And that's awesome. Well, people absolutely love you, Benny. We're so, so grateful that you're going to be here this year. So why don't you tell everybody what you're doing this year at Anarchapulco? Well, I'll be doing something similar. Um, I'm lucky enough to be on this, the main stage all four days of the conference this year for 15-minute intervals. So I'll be up there in between other speakers doing my thing, and it'll, you know, I, I, I do like to think that what I do lightens the mood a bit, so I can go up there and you know, be a nice uh, in-between for some of the other speeches, perhaps ones that are a bit heavy, who knows. But um, that's it. So something very similar to what I've done before. I'm going to try to experiment with some other ideas that I don't, I can't tell you talk about yet because I want it to be a surprise. Um, but yeah, I'm a performer, so expect a performance from me. I've been encouraged by some people to share some of me, like a little bit more of my personal story. Uh, I'm weighing whether or not to do that or not. We'll see. But yeah, a lot of performance, like I said, stand-up poetry um, and a few surprises. That's so great. Well, I mean, I know I can relate for, this, for the sake of, you know, Anarchapulco has been such a great jumping off point for you. And I know it has for me. I never expected when I mm -hmm. first got involved with Anarchapulco the first year, when I met you for that first year, how many opportunities would come as a side effect of being part of Anarchapulco? 
Yeah. Do you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I found my, myself at Anarchapulco the first year, the first year of Anarchapulco by accident. I didn't know that it was happening. I didn't know who Jeff Berwick was. I had no idea what a uh, cryptocurrency was about. And I, a, a, a fan of joy camp reached out to me and said, you need to be at this conference. And I said, yeah, it sounds great, but I don't know. I don't know. I, the figuring out the flight and a hotel and a ticket that just seems a bit mm, challenging at the moment. And she said, don't worry about it. I got it. So she covered everything, all my expenses. And I reached out to Jeff and Jeff happened to know who I was. So he offered me a speaking slot and the rest is history. I mean, that first year I didn't do a performance. I just gave a speech, but it was in that environment and seeing other people giving speeches that I thought, you know, I think I could probably, you know, add something different, a little, a little uh, spice to this conference. So I didn't go back the second year, but then I went back two years ago and did my thing. And yeah, it's, uh, it's been amazing. And you know, Anarchapulco was really how, was the first time I embraced a community of people outside of the internet. I mean, I'd been building my YouTube channel and corresponding with people uh, through email and on Facebook and whatnot. But Anarchapulco was the first time I actually went to an event and spoke and got to meet people in person. So it opened up my, it made my international community a reality. And I have made the best friends as a result of stepping into that and, you know, showing up. So, yeah, I mean, it, and I, you never know what, what will, what these conferences will lead to, but boy, so far, so good for me. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. And I know that I, I consider you a, a friend and I loved spending time with you when I went out to LA. And so I look mm -hmm. forward to like continuing to nurture that. And I, and I agree, this is like our tribe. This is our community. So there was a mm -hmm. lot of new people coming. I mean, over a thousand people have never been before and, and are entering amazing. our community. And I cannot wait to meet everybody, like all these amazing people. Um, Me and, and too. Using connections. It's like my favorite part of it. I know. My only concern is that I won't have enough time to talk to everybody because there's so many people I want I, there. I already know who I want to connect with and people who want to connect with me that I don't know. And then all the people who I will meet for the first time in general, like I don't want, I want to make sure I have time for everybody. I know. And plus, dude, you're working all four days. And even though they're 15 minutes, slots, that's like hours because I, I know as being a speaker, it's, it might just be 15 minutes on stage, but the preparation, the mental preparation, the waiting, I mean, everything that in, that's involved in that, that's a lot. You're working hard for Anarchapulco. I, I am. I'm definitely working hard and I will have to take time for myself every night. So my, my evenings will be a bit compromised because yes. uh, I need to prepare it. Like I told, I told, some, I told a bunch of people last year when they asked me about my performance and I said, it takes a lot of work to make something look effortless. So it takes a lot of prep and a lot of practice and rehearsal um, to make what I do seem easy. Mm -hmm. And also a lot of work on the back end as well, or sorry, the front end, wait. A lot of prep in the back end because I I've been doing this for so long. <laughs> back end and the front end, it's a lot of work in general. But I've been doing this for so long, and performing for so long. It's, it took me a long time to get comfortable on stage. So since I've been doing it for most of my life now, I, I'm ready to do it. But yeah, I will be uh, spending a lot of time getting ready in addition to getting to know people and and experiencing the other speakers as well because that's one of the best things about going to conferences is getting a front row seat to all the other speakers who are amazing. Yeah, I can't wait for that this year. I don't think I've done enough of that. And this year, I really want to focus on that. And, and this year, I'm really rehearsing and preparing for my talk more than I have any talk in, in 20 years. So this is awesome. a really one for me. And so um, it does take a lot because what you're giving is, is your own personal growth. And I know it's the same for you. You know, we're all, we've all known each other for five years now. And we've all yeah. grown so much as people and we've all been through so much. And so like our talks always kind of reflect who we are. And so those of us that have True. seen the same speakers every year, those that are coming back, like I can't wait to see them and see where they're at now. And so that's part of what I'm sharing. It sounds like it's part of what you're bringing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a really special. Oh yeah. Story. I'm super stoked. Yeah. I can't believe it's right around the corner. It snuck up on me. I know, I know. I'm like, I have to leave in a week and a half. I got to like get out the suitcase and get ready to go. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wonderful, though. I can't wait. I, I'm really looking forward to the warm weather. So I've like had enough cold weather in New Hampshire. <laughs> yeah, well, it's pretty cold up here in eastern Washington as well. Not as cold as you're experiencing, but 
quote for me from being from Los Angeles, 31 degrees is freezing. Literally, it's freezing, but it's also freezing to me. Yes, I hear you. All right, Benny. Well, how can people find out more about you before they come? What are your- oh, sure. Well, yeah. I mean, if anybody who's been following Joy Camp has probably noticed there's been sort of a rebranding and, a, and an evolution, if you will, because it started off as a group, but we've all sort of gone in different directions and I've really been taking the lead on it. So you can find all of my previous work, all the comedy and short films on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Joy Camp. And we have a Facebook page as well and an Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. We have a website that we're launching a new website and it should be live any day now. And it's joycampwebsite.com. Uh, I'm going to put a and link also, below so everyone can Sure. Cool. Yeah, but you can find all that. I put my, I still, now this is <laughs> my bad, but I don't have many of my poems online yet, even though a lot of people have been asking for them. My performances are there. And in fact, my inner Capulco performance from last year is on our YouTube channel. So the best way to best place to find me is on YouTube, but I'm also on all the other platforms like DTube and Steemit and um, BitChute Shoot and Minds.com. I'm all over the internet. Joy Camp's all over the internet. <laughs> Benny Wills is all over the internet. You cool. can't miss me if you if you're looking for me. You'll find me. Yep. <laughs> and if you can't find him, just message me. I will find him. I will show you where he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm very much available. Oh yeah. Well, we can't, wait to have you. we can't wait to have you again this year, Benny. I can't wait to see you personally, give you a big hug and just mm. welcome you to the, to the tribe, to the community where we bought out the whole hotel this year. It's going to be so crazy to have like, Unreal. Entire, because the hotel's huge. It's going to be crazy to have this huge hotel filled with yeah. the anarchists, everybody there. You don't have to explain yourself to, you're all on the same page. It's yep. your tribe. So, so I can't wait for that. So guys, if you are like still deciding whether to go to Anarchapoco or not, I would really like make a decision soon. Tickets are going like quick. We don't know how many are going to sell left. We do have some left, but it seemed like like last year, the last week we sold so many. So we're anticipating that again. And if anybody has any questions, you can email me anytime at Dana at Anarchapoco.com. You want to know more about Benny, click on the links below. And thank you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Peace, love, Anarch.